Mujahid left his home in Aleppo to escape the war in Syria. He found safety here, in the Turkish city of Gaziantep, but he couldn't find a job. A computer programmer and entrepreneur, he launched his own enterprise and developed a mobile application to help the Syrian community in Turkey. I came up with an idea to create a platform that can help Syrian refugees easily get access to all information they need in the Arabic language. In 2016, Google invited Mujahid to its annual developer conference in San Francisco. But he says he was denied a visa for the United States because he's a Syrian refugee. I knew that just my personal information will make them refuse my application. You just imagine a guy who was born in Saudi Arabia, grew up in Aleppo, and now married to an Iraqi woman. Mujahid's business is just one of almost 6,000 that have been established by Syrian investors in Turkey. Mujahid is now the owner of several companies, including one offering a live translation service for Syrians. Mujahid's mobile application, Ghurbatna, helped many Syrians in this city understand the labor laws and helped some others find jobs. Ahmed, a Syrian refugee and a father of two, was one of those who used the application and found a job in a cafe. I knew about the Gurbatna application via Facebook. It helps us get all the news we need about Syrians. Many Syrian entrepreneurs say refugees shouldn't be seen as a burden. They can contribute to the economy of the host country. Mujahid's success comes as no surprise to Khalil Babili, the chairman of Syed, the Syrian Entrepreneurs and Businessmen Association. I'd like to tell them that they will lose a lot by preventing young entrepreneurs from visiting their countries. We will win by their presence in this region. Mujahid says being a refugee is not something to feel ashamed of. He hopes his story will demonstrate to those who shelter people like him that they're not a burden but an opportunity. Ahmed Al-Guray, TRT World, Gaziantep, Turkey.